Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about how to get the data from the text box and text area, as well as how to set the data to my text box as well as text area using an Angular. How to get and set the data to my text box and text area in Angular. For that, first create one Angular application. I created this application by using Angular CLI. I run this application by using ng servo command. Once you run this command, compile successfully, then we can see this application output by using 4200 port number in your local host. So let's open localhost 4200. This is my output. My application output is this one. So how we can get this output means, if you see this, this is my application root module, application bootstrap module. You can see from main.ts, this is my application bootstrap module. Can you go to that module? If you observe here, this is my application bootstrap component. My component name is like app.component.ts. Inside this component, my view template, my template URL is like app.component.html. From this, whatever the content is there, that content is visible to the end user. So our discussion is like how to take the data from the text box. Let's take one simple text box like this. Okay. My name is like one text box is this one. The next one is like one more, one more field also. You can take it like a password field. My type equals to password, password. The next field also you can take like address, for example. Okay, my address field is like a text area. Now, at the time of clicking on the button, at the time of clicking on the button, my requirement is I want to take the data from this particular name text field and password text field and address text field. And I want to display, I want to show the data in this format. My data should be in the object format. My name data, that means my name text box data you have to keep here. And my password, my password text box data you have to keep here and my address text box data you have to keep here so at the time of clicking on this particular button at the time of clicking on this particular button my data in my console you have to show in this format that is my actual requirement so how we can start if it is on the requirement how we can start means now come to my View. It looks like this. At the time of clicking on the button, my data format should be looks like this. You have to format the data like this and show the data inside the console. So for that, first, my execution is going to start from at the time of clicking on the button. So that can be handled the event first. So how we can handle already we discussed in the last video. I click event, just you can write like a handle method. This particular template is belongs to which component app component so that inside that component just you can okay just you can write that my function click without the previous code is that just I remote just I remote okay just write like my console dot my console dot log of function click to call first check my handler event handler is working or not so if you come here yes so there my event handler is working. Now our requirement is what you have to take the data from this particular input controls or not. If you want to take the data from the input controls or set the data to the input controls in Angular, there has a directive, predefined directive is there. That directive name is like a ng model is the directive so that from which input control if you want me to take the data or set the data for that input control, just you can add your ng model directive. NG model directive. Okay, this NG model directive is working like a two way binding. You can pass the data from my component to view as well as my view to component also. Okay, both I will show you. Okay, with this, you have to keep one e, that variable reference, you have to keep it. Whatever the data you entered, that data they are going to bind to this particular variable so that that variable reference you have to keep it. Not only for this particular input control, you have to keep for that password also as well as you can keep for the text area also so my ng model work is like if you enter some data enter some data the data he is going to take and he is going to assign to this particular variable what you mentioned here already the data assigned to this particular variable my ng model is going to set the data to this particular text box it's like a two-way binding okay from my text box to 
variable he is going to assign from my variable to text box also he is going to assign the data first of all concentrate on the variable my data format is looks like this my finally if you observe here it's like a json object so first of all create one json object create one data json object variable so this is my data product this is my json object now inside this object how many properties are required if you observe here name password and address that means inside the object you have to keep one property like a name so that if you come here just you can give the data name as a property now my ng model take the data and put that particular data inside this data object with the name property same like this here also you can put like a data password is the property here also you can put like my data address is the property now once it is done everything take the data and everything takes care by the ng model only finally you have to display this data at the time of clicking on the button or not now come here okay see this is the variable you created inside the class if you want to use any variable by using object reference only you can use it so that you can use by you can call by using this now it gives me some error what is that error you know the ng model is not known at known property why because this ng model taking the data and everything is going to taken care by one of the module called as a forms module that module you have to load in your root module here my root module is like app module can we get the forms module first okay my forms module is just coming from just coming from at the right angular forms just get the forms module shortcut is like control space then that you can see that forms module this forms module you can you can register in the import section you can register in the import section now my error should gone okay now you can refresh the page now you can see this my name is like uh such a my password is like okay one two three one two three and my address is like my now at the time of clicking on the button now see this you can see this data you can see this data this is the way whether we can get the data from the input controls and you can prepare the json object how you format it in which form you want to prepare the data like this you can prepare it now you can set the data you can get the data like this but i want to set the data by default if you want to set the data very simple thing now see if you come here the ng model any data you enter the data he is going to keep inside this particular variable or not any data already there inside this particular variable the data also inside input they are going to set so that inside this particular variable can be set the data by default okay now this is my variable inside this variable can we add my name property is like a search in by default now if you come here now see this my search in it has to visible in my text box yes Okay, by default, if you want to add like my password equals to okay one two three, and the address is like the uh, address is like by default these values. If you want to set, yes, you can set it. But because my ng model is like a two way binding, if you want to do some extra changes, you can do it. That changes also will reflect if I click on the button. Say this that changes also reflected or not. This is the way we can set or get the data from the text boxes as well as text area. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.